Salim Al-Balushi, CTO at Do. It's a great pleasure to have you with us here at Econ in Middle East. Now, Do has been at the forefront of 5G rollout in the UAE. What's next for the network innovation? Are we looking at 5.5G, private 5G, or even 6G readiness? So five years ago, uh, we have been mandated to lead in 5G. So with the, with the start of life cycle, at the start of the launch of 5G, we were the first to launch 5G in pre-5G uh, launch. And the journey of 5G, 5G NSA, non-standalone, we, we, we innovated, accelerated the rollout of our 5G network. Our coverage nationwide today is that 99% of the populated area is covered by our 5G infrastructure. We are one of, one of the first to adapt 5G standalone. Uh, 5G advanced, which is uh, faster in speed and lower in, lat in latency. So in our journey in leading to 5G, we managed to lead, demonstrate that. Not only our readings, actually international organizations, benchmark companies, even the, the national, uh, the, the regulator who does benchmark on the operators and services, we are in, at the leading position in our 5G coverage, 5G performance, indoor and outdoor uh, in, in, in the UAE. Uh, we have recently, they were published by international benchmark, again, indoor coverage in the malls, do as a, as a leadership position. So last the five years, we invested in 5G infrastructure, accelerated the investment, and today we are at the leadership position of 5G. It is not only 5G today, we are talking about 5G+, plus, which is the 5G 5.5G 5G or 5G advanced from, from technical term perspective. So, so the advancement, the rollout of 5G for us, it is game over. We are rolling out. It is business as usual. The, the factory and the production line is moving forward with 5G advanced coverage. And I'm talking when I talk about 5G, many companies in other places, they are talking about monetization of 5G. And whether they have business case or they don't have business case. Today in Do Network, 75% of mobile traffic is in 5G network. So for, for us, 5G is our, our number one infrastructure. It is carrying most of the traffic in 5G. As, as 5G Plus is being implemented nationwide, the rollout is accelerated. Our next year focus to further accelerate the deep indoor coverage of our 5G infrastructure. And when I say 5G, it comes with, of course, it is fiber infrastructure. The backhauling, our footprint of fiber is growing year on year. We are accelerating that as well. Otherwise, we will not be the, at the leadership position of 5G. To the UAE network, generally, we are number one mobile and for mobile infrastructure worldwide from speed perspective, from network performance perspective. So we, uh, and our commitment in next phase, coming five years, we continue same vision, same directions, and same plan with the same energy to lead in whatever technology which are for coming in front of us. And how is do leveraging AI automation and predictive analytics to enhance network performance, resilience, and energy efficiency? So this question is, is, uh, is very uh, relevant to our 5G journey. We have two fronts of rolling out, uh, of dealing with AI. One side that we are enabler of AI for other sectors and other industry. So we enable AI for uh, automobile uh, industry, for the airport management, for port management, for different use cases in, in, in their side where our advanced 5G network, which has the, the capacity, latency, edge compute capabilities, which are three more most critical characteristics to enable other sectors. But of course, more important to your question, how we are leveraging on AI for AI for network. And that is that is where we have clear strategy and direction. We are adopting something called uh, a telecom management forum, uh, autonomous network framework. So it is very clearly structured. They have la four layers of of, uh, of, of of progression in the, in the, in the journey of, to, to, to have an a dark uh, operation center where it is totally unmanned. We are on this journey. We did a benchmark. We are a specific position, and we have clear roadmap to achieve by 2028 the target of being level uh, level four autonomy from autonomous network operation. Uh, we are leveraging actually today. We have many use cases. One of the use cases that we enable leveraging on AI and closed loop architecture and decision making uh, that associating traffic changes in, in daily basis. Traffic goes. Uh, there are peak times and they are off peak. So the decision making when we shut down some resources and enable some resources is totally based on AI. So when traffic is high, we, we enable three carriers. When traffic at, at, the, at the off peak time, we enable 
uh, the, the AI actually sh shut down two carriers, keep only one carrier based on traffic utilization. So this dynamic decision making is done by AI and, and the things and it resulted in significant efficiency from network operation perspective. Actually, sustainability uh, targets, we have specific sustainability, net zero uh, target by 2030, by 2050. And this is significantly contributing to optimization and sustainability and greenhouse, controlling our greenhouse gas emission from, from driving and our commitment. We continue the automation capabilities again. We have clear, as I said, clear structure, clear plans. Uh, the key found the foundation for any automation journey or AI, AI journey is data. And we have, over the last three years, we built our data lake. Our data is very structured. It, uh, data lake is very well controlled, very well established. Now it is about use cases that are built on this data lake. Again, thanks to the data lake, where our power efficiency use case that was very successful. And in, 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 in fast time, we managed to implement that. And we have clear roadmap to achieve our L4, which is fully autonomous. Uh, network operation. We are in very positive progress, leveraging AI for network. Wonderful. And off the back of that, with growing complexity of connected ecosystems, how is Juice strengthening its cybersecurity posture and safeguarding customer trust as digital services expand to all uh, walks of life? Actually, security is embedded in uh, telecom, uh, uh, in our infrastructure. In the way we, dr we drive business, security is mandate. Historically, it was part of our DNA. And with AI, of course, more complexity comes from a network availability perspective. So the tools are more smart and intelligent to attack in the, from network. So availability is key. Uh, data confidentiality, so customer data, privacy, and data, uh, the control of data confidentiality, and data integrity as well, the accuracy of the data that are being communicated. From these three angles, we have all the best practices, actually, that are being implemented. We have very advanced. Uh, our uh, security management center and security practices into end life cycle for the uh, securing the product level and infrastructure level. So we implemented all best practices. We have very advanced security operation center that is that is monitoring the activities, taking action, whatever we, we implement. We ensure from the inception, security is embedded in our product and our technologies that we introduce. Security is embedded part of the life cycle of the equipment and life cycle of the infrastructure at large. Now, clearly there's a lot going on, but looking ahead, what emerging technologies and partnerships are you most excited about and what will define the next phase of digital transformation for Do? So as a CTO in Do, I am already, as I said, 5, 5G and 5G advances already being uh, the team are implementing. It is a matter of rollout and time. Coming five years, we need to prepare and upgrade our infrastructure to be ready for 6G. And our commitment, we, as we were the, as early uh, implementer of 5G, 2029, we expect that early, the, the pre-6G launch, and we are committed that we will be part of that pre-60 60 launch. And this means from today, I need to upgrade my network, upgrade our infrastructure to be ready for that, that, that time. The expectation of 6G, it, is not, it will not be only bandwidth, latency, and number of connected devices. We expect, again, there will be sensing, which require more intelligence. There will be AI embedded in the in, in the in RAN radio access network and sustainability. So to ensure again the CO2 and, and greenhouse gas emission is controlled. So for, for, for the three new variables, we will we expect to have more uh, uh, complexity in the RAN, more compute infrastructure, uh, security will be an, uh, uh, one of the one of the drivers. So intelligence, security, sustainability, uh, best customer experience and customer services from today we are preparing the infrastructure to continue our leadership and positioning our country as a number one infrastructure in the world and creating, of course, the best value to all the sectors in the UAE to continue leading and providing best services to our to the society at large in the country, inshallah. Thank you for joining us and thank you for the great insights. Thank you very much for having me.